Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Millie Chun. And this is not how Black History Month is meant to be, right? Monique and Sydney have gone live, like, 54321, that's what we said. And she is responding to her son, Shalom Jackson. Let's just get into it. Instagram that was put up, or I guess. It was TikTok, baby. TikTok that was put up by. My son. My oldest son, Shalom. And this is what I want to say to this. There are some people that are saying, oh, you should be ashamed of your mothering skills. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is what I'll say. Let's let it play out. Because the same ones that said to me, I was crazy, I was deranged, we watched it play out. So just like with my son, we'll watch this play out. First of all, why is Sydney giving the preamble, right? Monique, this is your son. And then you want to talk about your mother and skills. He got on here and said that he was neglected, right? You said that you weren't a good parent. And then you told him when he's ready to be in a relationship with you to come to you who wasn't trying to be a good parent because you were not ready and who did not make herself seem as if she even wanted to be a good parent. But you sit on Shannon Sharp show and you say, if I have wronged someone, let's fix it. Someone who's giving you money, it's a money transaction. Like the baby said, like, what can you give me other than money? He wanted your time and you couldn't give him that because you was trying to be Monique. Monique with the apostrophe. Right? But you want this to play out. Okay. I do want to address this though, Shalom. When you say her daddy, her daddy, then that's when mommy gonna say stop playing because you know this has been Uncle Said your whole life. Uncle Said knew you before you knew you. So for you to say her three sons, yes, you're absolutely right. He has three sons. He can't claim you as his son because he's always been Uncle Said and he knows your daddy very well. And love that brother. And the irony of all of this is not what is said but what's left off yes see you you're leaving off the fact that the last time we laid eyes on you your mother got you everything you needed for the newborn baby about three years ago you're forgetting about how i from georgia am talking you through getting your car after we gave you the half the down payment for it and you were 31 years old. So you want to sit here and badmouth Shalon because this is his Uncle Sidney instead of his stepfather. And that's probably how you all treated him in the house, right? And then it goes back to what Shalon was saying this morning. You only want to buy the love. He said you hadn't even been there for the grandbaby, but you want to buy her everything she needs. You say that you was helping him get a car when he was 31 years old, but you're not here for him the way he needs to be. The child has been fi been neglected by his mother. And now, Sydney and Monique have something to add to their community, her son. Let's see if I can wrap this up. Because at the end of this live, she brought back Oprah. She brought back Tyler. Now she done asked Stephen A. Smith. So he said they're taking the long way around. I don't have time for that. Hold on. Not expressing the relationship that you have with your father where you spoke ill to him. Not to mention spoke ill to your mother. But somehow your mother and father and I all have a loving relationship and communicate back and forth because of the love that we have for you. The one thing these individuals and to the individuals out here that oftentimes speak after they've heard one side of the story, there's an old saying, believe half of what you see and none of what it is that you hear. When it comes to Monique and Sydney, I don't believe Anything I see, and I definitely don't believe anything I hear from them at this point. Because they are still not getting the fact that they 
act like they don't have anything to do with the situation with the son. Monique, this is your son. And if you and Sydney and his father has a relationship, then you all are adults. He's still age-wise a child to you. Go to your child and work it out. Because if you continue to sit on this couch with Sydney and make these videos, that's never going to happen. Like, if you want somebody, if you feel like you've done somebody wrong and you want to fix it, fix it with your baby. Right? And then you want to sit here and talk about how somebody is speaking to someone. Monique, did you just not tell Oprah and Tyler that they can do these certain actions and go lower and continue the actions now monique and sydney tried to cover that up towards the end of this video but i mean I, it's just hypocritical to me y'all i'm sorry i cannot rock with sydney and monique i just cannot and clearly a lot of other people cannot rock with them either right Shalom Jackson deserved more respect than to have his stepdad call him nephew and you avoid how he feels and he's your black son. Really, Mo? Girl, this is your son. Why is he talking? I think everybody in America has that question right now. Who's looking at this? He's speaking so much when it should be Monique talking. Monique is over there giving ad libs in the whole conversation. She the hype man. It's insane. Not parents getting online and reminding their child of things they did for them. That generation is something else when it comes to gaslighting their kids when they tell their truth. A hundred percent, that's what they just did, is gaslight all of us. I cannot with Monique and Sydney. Now this right here says some of y'all better stop acting like the kids don't play a huge part of communication breakdown. A few more of you may not be working parents trying to ensure the basic fundamentals are met for your children. And just because you are a parent doesn't mean you stop working on yourself and goals for the betterment of yourself and so on. I agree. If you are doing what you need to do as a parent and your child is not talking or not responding, what else can you do, right? You can keep going and being a parent but at least you're still trying. Monique is not trying. Like this lady said up here, Monique wants to let it play out with the baby, but when it comes to if she's wronged you, she wants to fix it. Make it make sense, Monique. Y'all, it's your girl, Millie Chun. Let's get in the comments and talk about it, because I really want to know what y'all think about it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.